Hi, my name is Frederico. I'm also known as Fred. I am a physicist uh, in Brazil, also collaborating with Paul Whitford's group at Northeastern University. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to install VMD on Linux based systems with graphical user interface. First things first, you have to download VMD, which can be easily found uh, through a quick search on the internet. After being directed to the website, you have to choose which version better suits your needs. Uh, the latest is the version 1.9.4, but we are going to get the stable version, which is 1.9.3. Both uh, will work with the same instructions, so you can, you can have any of these two. If you have done that before, you have to give your credentials, your username and password, and if you have not, you have to register yourself at this point to get the actual uh, download link. Then you are going to be directed to the license, and I strongly advise you, if, you, if it's your first time, to read all the license and check if you agree with the terms. I've done that before, so I'm going to proceed to get the link. And Yes, and through the README file, you can take uh, a peek on what is VMD. It's a really powerful software to visualize structures of biomolecules, experimentally determined or simulated, prepare or analyze, and or analyze molecular dynamic simulation data. Uh, you can make videos. And obviously, the, the goal of this video is to show you how to install VMD to work with uh, Red Tool, the ribosome angle decomposition software. Other nice uh, VMD uh, features can be found on their website or elsewhere on the internet. And as you may note, it's a really light software. It's just a, around 60 megabyte download to what it delivers. So after download it, as you may note to the read, for the read, from the readme file, you have to extract the package. And yes, just yeah. Now we can go and you can extract using the graphical application or the, through the command line. Both will work. And also in the readme file uh, here inside the extracted uh, folder you can get uh, the next steps to proceed to the standard installation uh, that what we are going to do in this video so looking into that you have to avenge you have to uh, if you if you need to edit the configure file we are not going to do that because we are going to proceed to the standard one so uh, those are the places where the launcher and the library will be placed after installation. And to proceed to the next step, you have to open a terminal here. Uh, you can open the terminal elsewhere and go to this folder as well. But uh, to open it here, you can just, yeah, using the right button. And then we can type dot slash configure to... to, to pass the, conf the configurations to the compiler and yeah just make sure you are in the right folder before doing that then go to the src directory to type make install and finalize the installation um, which has not uh, been done because we have no permissions to write on that folders and to avoid this problem, you have to, uh, to have administrative privileges in your computer. So by typing sudo and make install, you can tell the computer you are the administrator and then your installation is completed. As you may note, type in VMD yeah, and open it. And from now, you can just open VMD in any terminal version from any folder. So let's go have another terminal version and type VMD just to check it. And yeah, it will work just as fine. With that, I hope you all enjoy it. Bye bye.